Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see how to integrate MuleSoft with Amazon S3. I am Mohamed Akib, working as a MuleSoft certified developer and integration architect. And before we move on, let's see the agenda of today's video. We will see the overview of Amazon S3 and also we will see the use cases of using this Amazon S3 and we will develop the flows which will integrate MuleSoft with Amazon S3 and in the end we will see the demo how this is working so Amazon S3 is basically uh, a place where you, you can uh, we, you can add your data you can uh, you can rely on the data availability you can just store and protect any amount of data in the range of like there are range of use cases like such as data lakes websites cloud native application backups machine learning everything and then we have uh, it is it is designed in such a way that a 99.11 of durability and stores the data for millions of customers all around the world so let's see the use cases these are uh, already mentioned here but we can see here as well that uh, if, why this Amazon S3 being used it is for building a data lake which includes the big data analytics artificial intelligence machine learning and other high uh, like operating uh, systems which uh, which has like high performance computing applications like it can be used for uh, running the cloud native applications it can be used for uh, backing up and restoring the critical data and so on so let's move on and see the development of uh, mule flows which will be integrating with amazon s3 and here we have the mule application which uh, has three flows one of them is upload flow backup flow and the other one is deleted flow so what we have done we have have this uh, own new or updated file over here you can use the sftps you can use ftp whatever we want uh, let's suppose if we have any file located over a remote machine or somewhere in remote which is sftps or ftps or ftp we can use the connector accordingly so currently we are working for the local directory uh, we have got this on your updated file you're working on the filing so here i've configured the filing uh, strategy or like directory path that where i will put the file and that should be updated or inserted to s3 bucket so here i have got the s3 uh, bucket where whatever file i put to my directory which we just saw the file will be uh, backed up over here right and this is another flow where uh, if we add any file whether using this flow or directly to this uh, particular location so the file will be backed up to our directory over here the directory name I have defined to my uh, variable over here okay and the payload dot key which will be the file name let me now show you uh, what this put object is actually if you want to have this uh, amazon s3 bucket connector uh, in your mule palette and if you don't see this so search in exchange when you click the search in exchange and here you write s3 so you will see a few a few options for connectors you can select the simple connector the other one is glacial connector and you can select this amazon s3 connector for the simple uh, putting the files to s3 bucket okay and now uh, we have this put object let's suppose uh, we want to put the file or put the object to that particular directory we have this uh, configuration amazon s3 configuration we need to have and here we need to define the aws uh, access key and secret key and the region this i have defined in my file in resources over here in config file if you want to create your own keys you can create from 
security credentials in Amazon S3. And then we have in our flow this logger and then we are listing the objects, whatever objects uh, have that, that in directory, we are listing them. Just the main purpose of this, uh, these all sort of um, operations is to demonstrate these operations, these three or four operations that how these are working, right? So once we have this put object, we are defining over here the object key. The, yes, it will be the file name which will be uh, which we are we are going to extract from this object. Okay, <laughs> we are going to extract from oh here, whatever the files we will be having, it will have the name in attributes, right? Like attributes dot file name that we are putting over here the object key it will be the object file name and then this is the bucket name the bucket name uh, as we have seen the bucket name is mentioned over here okay and then we are listing the file we only need to provide the bucket name over here then we are transforming and it will be printed over logs Let's now see uh, in which directory do we need to put the file. So this is the directory. Let's go to this directory and upload. And here we need to put the file which will be available in S3 bucket. So let's suppose I keep uh, get this file, copy this file and uh, put it to upload. Let me show you this backup folder. It is empty, but let's put it over here mcpa level one okay and now let's see the logs here you see there it is being processed and here it has been logged using this uh, json conversion and then logger now let's see if this file is available this file has been removed from here and if we see over here if we just ref refresh this so the file is available in s3 bucket now let's verify this flow as well this is the backup flow which says on new object the file should be put in this directory in backup directory okay let me show you over here okay so if you see this file name it should show in logs this will be the file name so let's verify this in backup folder here you see that file is available over here now if i keep this file this file let's suppose one of this file directly to s3 bucket let's suppose i click upload eight files and if i add the file from testing files and I will select this uh, level 1 data sheet okay and yeah let's upload once this file is uploaded we will have the logs over here okay now here we see this file level 1 data sheet mcp level 1 data sheet okay and if you verify this in backup folder here it is available so this is what uh, this flow is working right this, in the end this is writing the file to our directory this is on new object where we have only defined the bucket name now we have this on delete object as well the reason to have this is that if you want to keep the auditing if you want to keep the view that if any file is deleted from the, the folder or from the bucket so you should have this uh, inserted in database or somewhere in your in your files or in your bucket so that it is easy to audit that which file was deleted so let me show you let me delete one of the file from here let's suppose i delete this level one file okay this mcpa level one and i delete okay it says the type this delete object now let's see what happens over here here it is printing that 
this flow ran okay see on delete object delete object from s3 okay this flow worked and we have all the details if you want to put the details in database or any other auditing software so this is how this MuleSoft in is uh, integrating with s3 and how we are utilizing few of these uh, operations of amazon s3 connector this brings the end of video session if you like the video please hit bell icon and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out such exciting videos in future stay tuned